my graduate education, I was assigned the thesis research topic by Grant PUD of evaluating egg to fry survival study methods. My name is Eric Lauber. I'm a senior biologist with Grant County PUD. I've been with the PD for about 10 years. My thesis research project was titled Evaluation of Falls Chinook Egg to Fry Survival Study Methods in the pre strapid Hatchery Discharge Channel, which is where we're sitting here. It also serves as the entrance channel for adult fall chinook returning back to the pre strapids hatchery every fall. In this channel, I created 10 artificial egg pockets and put baskets of eggs in the bottom of those egg pockets and evaluated and compared those 10 artificial egg pockets to five natural egg pockets that I selected here in the channel. Uh, they're easy to identify. Maybe you can see some of the topography here in the stream bottom, uh, the, the hips or the dips in the valleys were left over from spawning activities of this past fall. Uh, a lot of digging goes on here by the adult false chinook when they're in their spawning activities. So this is a good example of a false chinook red or egg pocket. Uh, a red is similar to a bird's nest and that that's where the fish lays its eggs. A red can consist of multiple egg pockets. A female doesn't always put all of her eggs in just one egg pocket. Uh, I'm, my knee is in, it, is in the depression caused by the fish digging to bury their eggs. Uh, a typical egg pocket will be 30 centimeters deep into the substrate and covered up, as you can see, by some fairly large rocks. So the overall result of my thesis was that, yes, a person can come out with a shovel and using methods that attempt to imitate a false Chinook's digging method can create an artificial egg pocket that would represent a natural egg pocket. The rebar were just uh, supports that I drove into the stream bottom to support the dissolved oxygen probe wells that I put in. So there was a screened tube that went down 30 centimeters into the gravel. And I dropped my dissolved oxygen probes down inside that screened well and it measured the dissolved oxygen level at the depth of my artificial egg pockets. I also had dissolved oxygen probes installed behind uh, naturally constructed egg pockets. So egg pockets that fish had dug and where they lay their eggs. I uh, carefully excavated out just behind those egg pockets and put dissolved oxygen probes in there. I conducted my study in mid-November of 2009 through early April of 2010. So I had, art I had my artificial uh, egg pockets with eggs in them from the pre shabbat hatchery for about 140 days. So what I found was that my artificially constructed egg pockets functioned similarly to the naturally constructed egg pockets. It's nice that there's so many naturally spawning fish here as well to compare my artificial ribs against. Uh, I definitely want to thank Grant PUD and my manager Tom Dresser for allowing me the opportunity to attend graduate school and they, the PUD sponsored my education. Uh, they hooked me up with a thesis topic. Uh, very, very appreciative of those opportunities.